Doing some vacuuming outside this morning. Oh yeah, and the moon's still up there. Beautiful morning, not a cloud in the sky, a little bit of fog still hanging around in the valley, but it'll burn off in the next couple of hours. And Wolfie is doing some vacuuming on the driveway. Oh, oh yeah, you hear that? That's a magpie. It's a little earlier than usual. Uh, Wolfie's been a little bit unsettled in the night, so he got up early. So the dogs are still yawning and waking up. We usually don't let them out for about another hour. So they don't mind. Yeah, it's a magpie. Oh, the moon, yeah. Where's the rest of them? They didn't come out. Hey, they're still sleeping. Hey, Rover Boy, not you. Hey, Miss Red. Hey, Rover Boy. Hey, Miss Red. Oh, yeah, stretch those big muscles. Hello, Chopper. Hello, Chopper Boy. Vacuuming the sand. It's a four wheel drive vacuum, this one. So, this is how thick the fog is. There's not a cloud in the sky, and the sun is well above the horizon there, and it's just not penetrating through that thick fog. So, I'll point the camera at it right now. <laughs> The sun is right there, but you can't even see it because that fog is so thick. It's hard to tell, but blue sky, fog. You can see it over on the hill on this side. So that's the low lying fog and then it's very, very thick. So it's actually quite chilly this morning. It's quite cold. However, it's going to be a nice, warm, sunny day all day. Hey, mate, I'm going to leave your vacuum there. Leave the vacuum. That'll get it. I got it, mate. Hello, Rover boy. You look like you're still half asleep, mate. Hey, eh? bit too early for you, buddy. Come on. Hello, Maggie. There you go. Hang on, back in. Oh, you left it down in the driveway.
There you go, a bit of a sun creeping through the bottom of the trees there. It's quite low in those trees, but nothing on the tops of my trees, so I'm still stuck behind that bog there. Hello, Miss Violet. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Miss Rig. Hi. Hi. Hi, Miss Rig. Hi. 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 Hi, darling. Hi, darling. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, Rosie. Hey Rosie girl. Hey Matilda. Hey darling. Oh Miss Red, hello. Oh Mr. Chopper boy, so beautiful. Hi Barney. Hi Barney boy. Hello Barney boy. Hello. Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's happening? Yeah. So wet is it? We left it out and it, it's got some dew on it. Oh, it's all wet, mate. Should we get a towel and dry it down? Hold on, we won't get in it just yet. We'll get a towel and dry it down, huh? Not breakfast time just yet, guys. Not brekkie time, I'm just getting some towels. Ugh. You all think it's breakfast time already, don't you? Nope, nope, nope. There we go. How's that? Ready to get in? Ready. How's that, mate? We'll go for another cruise down the driveway. is going to pop out any moment above that fog and we'll start to get a bit of warmth come through the morning. <laughs> Sun's usually blaring by this time. Sun gets up very early in the morning in summer. And can't wait because it's chilly. Middle of January and it's cold in the morning. Not sure what that's about. Surely it's going to be another beautifully warm day today. Good girl, good girl, Lily. Joey, put those teeth away. Oh, I do. Yeah, good girl. 
Oh, you look so good after your groom. Hey? You look so good. What happened? You leave it down there, did you? <laughs> look at this guy. It's like I'm not ready to get up. I'm gonna go lie down up here. <laughs> Hello, mate. Okay. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, you love Tanky Boy, don't you? He loves Ooh. you. <laughs> hey, you. Huh? He loves you. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Yeah. This is so strange. Oh yeah, so we got sunlight here on me now. But we're still missing sunlight on the top of the trees here. Very odd. Different thicknesses of the fog coming through. Rover! Better one than that. <laughs> <laughs> like what you're talking about, it's a good one. <laughs> Just come on. Dance with me. Get a, get a close enough range. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, there's Diesel. It's the difference from yesterday. Yeah. Might be uh, exhausted today from all the rain we did yesterday. Yeah. Just happy to just hang out with the food. So he's right by your side sniffing your shoes there, Diesel. Oh boy, you get tired from yesterday are you mate? Not used to that kind of running. Oh, not used to it. Uh -uh. I know they've dogged around and wrecked it for you, but sit. Oh boy, good boy, please. Definitely a lot more calm. So the Prana was a little bit hyper and a bit neurotic yesterday, wasn't he, with the birds, like over overstimulated. Mm. And so this might be a little bit more of a of a natural endurance for him, where he go because he was running around this morning looking at the birds, and then now he's. But hopefully, he also settles in to um, you know the fact that oh, I get to do this every day. Well, that, you know, that's it's what not I'm like... saying. So who, he, he's probably like, I don't know how long this is going to last. I'm going to chase every bird that I hear and see. But we're already starting to hear birds around the place and he's ignoring them and starting to just wander around and hang out with us, which is good. Hmm. 
Because for a dog that is bird focused, this is, you know, full on stimulation for them. Whereas in the city, somewhere where it's not so bird populated, He does have a bit of a, a few funny things going on though, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he walks a bit funny. He walks a bit funny. Sometimes I think he gets a bit of vertigo by the look of it. Mmm. That on, were you watching that on film? Did well, you know yeah, that? would have been on video. So we were walking along and he was right here in front of me. Hang on, you've got to talk to the camera. We were walking along on the path and he was right here in front of me and all the dogs would be able to see my me in their peripheral vision, but uh, he got startled when he came like, right in front of me as if oh, I didn't know you were there. So whether he's got something going on with his vision, something going on with, like you say, his tunnel vision or even just blurred vision, something. He does some funny stuff with the corners of the room, with the way that he approaches. Um, his eyes look straight when he looks at you, but there are a few behaviours that I've noticed that are, they stand out to me. Mm. Can't quite put my finger on it. He does have that bit of a funny gait in his hips and his back legs. Whether that's physical or neurological, don't know. Mm. Yeah, so he does this thing where he, when he greets you, he, he, he greets you at, his, at the feet. And he uses his nose to come up. See? Oh, buddy. He comes in, smells, and then lifts his nose up the side of your leg. Mm. It's, a, it's an odd thing. It's either it's either he doesn't trust his vision, his vision's no good, his vision's blurry, he goes, he, he's always on the nose. And um, every time he comes into me, he heads down, he smells my foot, and then runs his nose up my leg to then look at me and lean on me as he's looking at me. Some dogs can just be a bit OCD and they just go through certain processes like that, but I think that that's a bit of a coping mechanism that he's learned to, to adjust like it seems to be you know there's not all working for him. we're just sharing our observations here we have we we haven't been given any information about yeah. diesel you know he, he seems to have very good vision Mm. For birds. Like long so distance? maybe he's long sighted and yeah. he's got poor close. Maybe. Vision. Because no. a dog like that who's constantly looking in the distance, you know, they will have laser sharp focus. Just keeping a bit close is, is um, a milestone for you, or like, you know, an improvement. Step in the right direction. It's him, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good. And he's not as neurotic. He's not as hyper, you know, sensitive to all the noises. He's starting to just accept that this is normal background noise with all the animals, the birds, the crickets, and then, you know, he's starting to socialise. He's starting to interact with the other dogs. He's comfortable hanging out within the group, not on the outside of the group. It's good. And then this is the kind of stuff that I wanted to see before putting him in that environment that I spoke about yesterday. Mm. So now that he is comfortable with this, he's come in the pool today. But I, I, I just didn't see that confidence and that level of comfort so close to the other dogs. Now that it is, then we can put him in that environment. But when a dog just wants to shoot for the distance and then you put him in a confined environment, it doesn't always end well. Uh, so 
after seeing this today, this is good. You can come in the pool session. After. Well, we can see how he goes in the pool session. Well, yeah, we'll test it. Yeah. You know, but I wasn't ready to test it yesterday. Really. Mm. I, I didn't see it. Enough, but I, didn't, uh, I think that would be okay. Ground's uneven. I've been putting sticks under the front to chuck it up. Oh. The dogs just grab the sticks. <laughs> Every time the dogs have been out here, the tree falls over. Like it hasn't been windy. What's going on? <laughs> What's Rover doing down there? Oh, you're back there, mate. Come on round. Come on round, big fella. Hey, good boy. Good boy, Tim. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. 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 Yeah, what are we doing? Maxine? Definitely, uh... Miss Red's whoa, usually... Whoa, whoa. Sorry, mate, I can't do anything for you. That's the momentum start. <laughs> You've got the juggernaut. Hello. Hello, good boy. What are you doing down there, mate? What are you doing down there, buddy? Going for a wander? Something about getting up here, like... Quite nice. There, mate, you need to adjust the power to the different limbs. <laughs> like, oh, uh, just snap me. Oh, you fly. Dang.
Thick toe, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, oh, you're a little hairy wombat. Oh, I'm just chilling here. I'm just chilling. You can be up for next Monday for a bath, Jill. Thank you on the outside there, mate. I can only hold on so much. Oh, sorry, darling. We're almost going to go. This red is unapologetic about her enthusiasm with the cuddle. Oh, yeah, aren't you? You're just all over it, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're just all over it, Lord. So we were talking last year, about, uh, last year, the last week, I think, maybe, week or before, a couple maybe. of weeks before. Yeah. Uh, about the smell. The smell, and the manure that was being distributed um, in the neighbouring property. Yeah, and uh, it only lasts a couple of days, but... A week you max. At, you look at our property now and how dry the colour and of, brown yeah. it is. Mm. And then you look at the property that just did the manure on it, and it looks so lush. Blue, fluoro green, doesn't it? It looks amazing. And look at the neighbouring property. It's like brown. It yeah. is just... Yeah, I'll, I'll zoom in. Hang on. So, that was what it used to look like, that property beside yeah. it. Yeah, they look the same. And then you can see, look at how green it is now. I really, like... We have to smell it anyway. Yeah. Like, why don't we just do it? Because we've got to put up with it and we can just get on the same routine. Like, you're going to do it? Yeah, we'll do it at the same time. <laughs> no change. Everyone still smells it. Yeah. But then we get some green grass out of it as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think the dogs would love that, that grass. Look at it. Ah, could you imagine them rolling around in that? It's amazing. We wouldn't have to do the whole thing either. We'd just do this bottom section. You know, the nice, lush, mm. open green grassland. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, everyone would just be like, like you're Captain Snooze, just rolling around and <laughs> Start playing the theme song. Mm -hmm. Just imagine what that would be like in super lush green grass. Looks 
incredible. So it doesn't look real, does yeah. it? I'll, we'll get a bit closer and I'll see if I zoom in if um, viewers can see it in a bit more detail. I mean, in real life, it's just it's so, so impressive, impressive, isn't it? Yeah. This is in our grass and you know, it's really nice and lush and then all of a sudden he does that I'm like, oh, that would be nice. <laughs> we're going to have to do it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. I'll have to work out what he does. He's got a truck that's got a big spreader on the back of it. I've got a spreader, but that's a massive one. He's got a huge one. Well, the back of the Rager. Well, yeah, he's got a massive dump truck that mm, has that spreader. Mm. But I wonder if it's his or we could hire it off him or... Mm. Then we got to figure out where he's getting the manure from. Probably just the one of the million chicken farms around here. Got my Surely. hat back to front. That's why it's hurting. Oh, yeah, you've got a bow imprint on your forehead. What is that that's sticking in my head? That's always out of shape, so I never know. Odd if it was the pads. Oh, Chance doesn't know where we are. <laughs> Is he? Yeah, we'll Here we are, buddy. Oh, there we are, buddy. <laughs> you lost this, did you, mate? Okay. Good boy. Good boy, bud. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Um, you got lost, mate. You got lost wide out in the open. Yeah, I thought it would be a surprise if it was his pads because he'd been in the bush for, you know, yeah. like his pads should be a bit more worn. Well, they did look pretty well seasoned. Yeah. So there's no chip off them or anything, but he's definitely got a bit of a limp going on. Shadow and Diesel have found a bird in the tree.
really laser sharp vision to birds and the trees and the branches. Maybe it is like tunnel vision. Or would it be he's like he's long sided. Or he's um oh, sorry Barney. His um hearing and smell is Oh it'd be on point, yeah. And it is all his ears. <laughs> See, he just takes off. He hasn't seen anything. No, but he doesn't take off like this when he's seen something. He takes off like this because he's heard a bird noise in the distance. That's what he usually does. That's what he's been doing. He's heard something. Because I've seen him tweak out his, like he's heard it. And then he runs off in that direction. Let's go. Put a life flash before my eyes then. <laughs> Coming in full speed. <laughs> Come on, darling.
Good boy. Diesel, Diesel, this way. Come on. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. This way. Good boy. Diesel, Diesel. Good boy. Well done. When Roscoe does zoomies, it's the most impressive, powerful zoomie you've ever seen. He does the full bum tuck and just uses that raw power. Stops on a dime, explodes into full speed. Impressive. I had that kind of power back then. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like a real idealistic, you know. <laughs> Sounds like you're a bit jealous. Oh, 100%. Can you imagine <laughs> how much you just run around people on the footy field with that kind of power? <laughs> So can you have like that real long vision? Well that's what I'm saying, if his vision is that sharp, because not many dogs would be able to focus in on a bird that small flying around like that. So if his vision is that sharp, it means he's probably got very blurred vision up close. So he's long sighted, that's what I reckon. He's just all blurry, like double vision up close. Not before I give you a big smooch, he says.
Who's your gallon over there? Fred eh? Delicately positioning myself to just give it a little flick. Now they're going to push it up. Roscoe just launched from the other end oh. and landed on it and just barreled me backwards. <laughs>
It's hard to encourage her while she's here. <laughs> I can't give her the signal. We'll have to stay in front of her. Showing the most interest there, isn't she? So. She's, she has zero, maybe minus, like in the negative interest in winter. <laughs> she honestly sits there and sunbakes the yeah, whole time. Yeah, hates it. Doesn't even come to the platform. Yeah. <laughs> at least now she's coming to the platform. She's yeah. like voluntarily. Look at her. Look at, look at him. Look at him. He's barking in between oh. the two. In the corner Sweet. there. So this is what we're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. Like where he's. It seems like a neurological issue. There's something going on that's not right. Yeah. He does it into corners. Now, there's a fly hanging around there, but it's not flies because that's what I first thought in the, in the kennel, but there was no flies there. And then there's no flies in his room either, and he does it flat out there. So he just kind of likes going into corners and into... It's a weird scenario, isn't it? He just stares at the ground and at the... Oh dear, yeah. That's a really anxious behaviour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, he doesn't show signs of anxiety outside of this period. So, 
usually an anxious dog will develop these behaviours to cope with their anxiety, but I, I think it's something more than that. I think it's a new <coughs> issue. like a border collie that hasn't been walked for a couple of weeks and then they just get all neurotic start making up their own game and then... but he's not doesn't fall into that category like he's yeah. tired he's been exercising yeah he is he is tired yeah sisters she was so beautiful. He's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. <laughs> beautiful Rosie. You're a beautiful girl. Yes, look at you two beautiful girls. So beautiful. <laughs> you just soaked me jumping in Okay. <laughs> so someone suggested maybe he's he's chasing shadows. Like he's a shadow chasing dog. Yeah, so I looked for that originally as well, but it's not shadows. There were no shadows in the corner where he was when I first noticed it in the shelter. It was all light. There's no movement because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like, a, a, I've seen shadow chases before. They chase um, the shadow of leaves blowing in the wind, any movement on the ground, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I've also seen dogs chase birds' shadows where they don't actually chase the bird, they just chase on the ground. This is like zero stimulation. In the, he just wedges himself in the corner somewhere and just constantly barks at the corner. There's nothing. There's nothing in the corner of what he does. It's it's really puzzling. I've never seen it before. Mm. He, you know, to the point where he really wedges in, like lies on the side of the, on the ground, with his head pinned against the corner of the wall, and then on the side of the other corner. So his nose is right in the corner, and he just barks and pounces, and it's really strange behaviour. Violet's trying to work it out. Yeah, everyone's trying to figure out what's this game. <laughs> G'day guys, so there's some hype on the grapevine and everyone's sending us emails, letting us know of these fake channels out there with Cutie Pie and the boxers and all these other dogs. They're not fake channels, they're our new channels that we are getting ready for everyone. So they're not quite ready, which is why we haven't launched them yet, which is why we haven't told anyone about them. But they are our channels, they are of our dogs, they're not scams, they're not fake. But and we're really they're not sorry. Ready. 
but we're, <laughs> we're very sorry that they've caused so much concern. Yeah, we honestly it, didn't expect people to find them. No, um, and they've actually been active for um, some of them, I think, for they've maybe even a couple a while, of months. But um, now Ben's starting know. to load videos up um, on those individual channels, so they're ready for launch. Uh, but there must be something in the algorithm where it's being yeah. put in front of people. So Just overnight, out of nowhere, yeah. uh, literally overnight. overnight so we're really been a sorry. Subscribers on one of the channels, and uh, obviously people have found them. So it's not a scam. They are our channels. We haven't put any of the finishing touches on them yet, so they don't have headers, they don't have banners, they don't have logos. So that's why we haven't talked about them yet. But they are our channels. It will be going live yeah uh, we will soon. we will link them to our yep. channel and we will put our logo oh, on them so everyone the knows so everyone sees that it's a channel but at the moment us. they've got nothing it's on them just a couple of so we're videos. really sorry it would have been concerning but no, thank we can you to the that. people who straight away were looking out for us and like someone's scamming yeah. your videos you know, no we really it appreciate good. that it was good so um but yeah we, don't don't be alarmed there's no problem uh, so everyone in our members group would know um, about them because we, we did the speak section, about yeah. that that's what was we were going to um, launch this year. Yeah. So they are channels um, for each of the doggies in our farm pack. Or groups. Um, or, yeah, some of them are in groups, you know, like the Staffy Sisters. So yep. they're together. The boxes. The boxes, yeah. Um, the, sh the Shepherds have already got theirs, but, um, yeah. you know, and then we've got... Fredo and Roscoe yeah, together. together. Tank and Chopper. So the idea is that um, we will still have our long daily um, videos on the farm. Videos on the farm that we have um, every day, yeah. but there will be new content um, on the individual um, we channels. We do get a lot of people say, "I want more of this dog. I want to see more of this dog." And if we did that for all of our dogs, it'd just be a four hour video on that on our channel so that's why if you have a favorite dog or a few favorites then you can follow their channels and it's really going to be the focus on them and their day and what they get up to outside of or as well as mm. uh the farm channels but the, yeah the video. farm channel's not going to change continue on as yeah. it is. same content same kind of uh feel but we're just adding new content following around Miss Violet and what she gets up to and her antics and, and other dogs for, yeah. for their own channel. And more focus on them because a lot of people are, want to know more about some of the individual dogs yeah. and we do try to get around to them but um, this way it'll be... Everyone can just um, follow who they like. Yeah, and there'll be more focus on individual dogs like, you know, Shadow and Maggie and, yeah. you know, um, so I think it's going to be fun. You think um, so? I think it'll be fun. And we're hoping to get some help this year um, from an, another videographer. Yeah, to help uh, get the content and follow around some of these dogs on just some of their antics through the day. Yeah, because um, like we've said so many times, but um, the YouTube is what um, funds... It is our only source of revenue yeah. at the moment, so... We're trying to see if we can um, increase that side of the business or that, that part of the business to, to really help this be a sustainable endeavor for us. So it's, uh, it's exciting. We think that everyone will like the, the new content. We, hope, we, can, we hope so. Yeah, we're hoping, we're hoping they will. And uh, the benefit is, you know, if you don't want to see something about a certain dog, <laughs> You don't have to watch that channel. <laughs> you, know, you can go to the channel you like, yeah. which is uh, the plan, you know, because we can't please everyone with one channel. Even Cutie Pie the Pug has her own one. Oh, and Kitty True. Rose. Kitty Rose. Don't forget about Kitty Rose. She's got her own. Yeah, she's got her own too. That, that's going to be a good one. Uh, I don't know if it's just because I'm a dog person and now we've got a cat that she entertains me so much. But <laughs> honestly, that cat makes me laugh. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but thanks everybody for, yeah, thank you for looking, looking out, for, out us. for us. Yeah, yeah. and um, they we, are our channel. so we will um, like I guess officially announce it just when Ben's ready because poor yeah. Ben he's he's trying to, to upload all the um, existing content to date of yeah. each of those individual dogs mm. on their channel so that 
you know, when we start posting new content, their story already exists Yeah, they're already there. There's already a backstory. Um, For people who <laughs> don't know us or know the dog, there's already a, a bit of a you know, following of they can go back through and get an understanding of yeah. where these dogs come from, what's yeah. going on, what the story yeah. is. So. Yeah. Um, but poor Ben, he's got the shuffle along, along now. <laughs> Now that everyone's found them. Yeah, he's before like, oh. ready. <laughs> I better hurry up. Yeah. He hasn't got thumbnails on videos yeah. and, you know, profile pics and that, that's okay. But yep, <laughs> they are our channels. Don't worry about it. Yep. No one's being scammed. If you find one that you think I'm going to follow these dogs, subscribe to it. But if you don't, don't worry about it. There's just it's there for people who want to follow their favorite characters that's all it is yeah maybe on this video i just wonder if i should if i should link you know just put the links in because so otherwise i know but um you can yeah we should totally but i'm gonna have to tell ready, ben that one even though they're not ready we should put a link there so that that this is the only official the cutie pie the pug yeah. channel this is the only kitty rose the cat you know yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's the way. <laughs> Good job, Wolfie. What a help you're going to be when you get older. That's it. Important jobs here, Mum. Oh boy, Rover. That pile, mate. That's a good pile you got there. What a good boy you are. Thank you.